welcome to the next edition of my EcoBoost Mustang. I haven't really posted any videos recently because I haven't really done much um, to video. Although I'm now doing the winter upgrades for brakes and suspension, um, eight autocrosses and two track days later I needed to upgrade my brakes. Uh, the bump steer had not been right since I did the swap because I had to install a SN95 K member to facilitate the EcoBoost. What that does is it drops the steering rack and makes the bump steer a little worse. Um, for the brake upgrade and the bump steer solution, I've gone with a Griggs aluminum spindle. It's a two inch drop spindle which raises this axis up, which allows you to essentially raise the suspension on the car to correct your A-frame angles and help with the bump steer. The original Grig setup looks like this with a SN95 spindle and a ball joint adapter. Now this adapter bolts where I wanted to bolt the wheel wood adapter, so it was not going to work. Now that I have the wheel wood adapter, the bump steer correction, um, it's all SN97 stuff, so I can now put on my 18 inch wheels because these will not clear 17s. So uh, we will go over my problems with 18 inch wheels next. Okay, this is last year's tires at 245, 40, 17. It's on an American racing wheel, it's a heavy, inexpensive wheel, and this is the biggest tire I could get in there without any modifications. This year's tire is a 235, or pardon me, 295, 30, 18 on a JRW wheel. It's a very light, strong wheel. It's 10 and a half inches wide, and uh, that will be problematic as we'll see.